Hey guys, Kills of Reels here, and we're back again with some more Sons of the Forest. So, this is the community base tour. This is the second one I'm doing. This is Drazik's base. He sent me the save file on Discord, and I said I'd have a look around and show it off, make a video on it. So, this will be interesting. Let's see what we can find out of this base. I'm at the. Uh, that took me a bit of time to find the entrance, actually, because the base is quite big. What I'm going to do is I'll have a flyover in creative mode, uh, and then we'll have a. We'll have a little walk around it. Right, here we go. I've got it on. Whoop, oh, wrong way. <laughs> okay, so what we've got here, we've got the entrance there. We've got a good old Calvin standing in the corner. Chilling out of his sunnies on, as usual. I like the entrance system. That's quite nice. It's that crematorium area. Little sleeping outpost. I love the walls. Look at those walls. Oh, I like that. I like that. How did you do that, though? Look at that. It's like a... Looks like a, what, half log overlap? How did you do that? It doesn't... I don't know. Hmm. Did you do the walls first and then do the outside part? But that looks pretty cool. I like the overlap. Yeah, that is definitely a half log. That is nice. I like the wood on across the top as well and the spikes. That looks epic. Let's have a little look at this area here. What have we got? lounge area swimming pool the footprint i must say is pretty damn big a lot of decking area with the castle walls Let's see if i can get a good view on that there we go i like that big walls massive reinforced area big wooden spikes on the top looks mint there's lounges sun lounges i'd say that is <laughs> at the pool Okay, that is cool. We'll have a little look around on the inside in a bit. I'm just going to fly over just so you guys can see the size of this. Because it is, it's pretty damn big. And what's this? The walkway across over to the other side. Is there anything inside this? Is it empty? It's empty. It's just scaffolding. Jesus, that would have taken ages. And then what looks like the main compound area. So I'm guessing this is the, the living quarter part. Yeah, that is cool like that Okay, well that's the flyover done. I like the way it looks. The thing I like about doing these is... How would you get in here then? Oh, I've got my bloody UI off, haven't I? <laughs> I can't see the button. Alright, let's see if we can... Come on. There, I've had to switch the UI back on. I can't see the uh, the interaction button, so I can't interact with the doors. So what we got? As I was saying before, I like doing videos like this because it gives people ideas and gives them like, you know... Kind of like tips and stuff like that. If people can take a little bit away from this base and do it on theirs, it's amazing. It's great. It's a, it works well. I love the wood across the top of the walls. Might have to steal that idea myself, to be honest. That looks nice. What's this? It's just like a, what, crematorium area, I'd say? <laughs> it definitely is. It's got plenty of bloody wood here. I'm guessing that's where he gets attacked the most because it's the only entrance system into the base. Let's put it on the scale, though. The walls are actually still quite high. Here we go. We are going into what looks like the stun area, like the lounge. It's pretty damn big, isn't it? The footprint is huge. It is pretty big. Get ourselves up one of these towers. It looks like he's got some sort of zipline system going around as well. Uh, got a tower there. And there's another main hub tower from what I saw. I think it's over that way. Um, it looks like it probably runs off in that direction and up over the mountains. So if you guys want to see what it looks like on the map, we are currently there at like this lake. It's right next to the cave, which is over there. I can't remember what cave that is. But that's the side of the island we're on. 
just in case you fancy coming down here and building here yourself. I do like these walls. These walls, the mixture of the wood and the stones are great. Oh, he hasn't even got the wood on top of the stones. He's built the stone wall in front of the wood wall. Oh, okay. I thought the wood was sitting on top of the stones. All right. Well, that looks even more impressive now. Jesus, the amount of time that's gone into that. To build that is insane. I'm not going to run all the walls because... Well, they're massive. I'll be there ages. What's this? I don't jump in there. I don't think I'll be able to get back out. But that is a swimming pool area. Oh, you can. He's got a zip line in there. All right, let's go for a dip. Oh, I don't think I've got a zip gun. <laughs> Have I got a zip gun? Uh, no. Yes, I do. Oh. I am stuck in the water. Stand by. I'll get out in a second. There we go. Got it. That's actually a pretty clever way of getting in and out, to be honest. I've always just built stairs, but if you can just zip line out, it's even better. What's this? Kind of like a sun lounger. Nice. I don't think it's built. I don't think it's finished. I think he's still building it. Got a nice little garden area going on, which is nice as well. Nice little water area again. Lovely. I like it when they incorporate like the water or the ponds and stuff into the base. And they build on a lake and they leave like a massive chunk of it open. It always looks nice. I like how they do that. Right, let's go in here. We'll see this then. This looks like a... Kind of like a main area. Storage. Wow, this is a pretty... Pretty damn big storage. Wow. Got enough ink. Yeah, nice big storage area. I've come to kind of enjoy or like the low roofs now. I feel like it's quite cosy. I don't know where that leads. I don't want to jump in just in case. Man, I am lost. Uh, That leads back out into more underground area. Okay. I'm going to go back to the entrance where I came. Where, where did I get in here? Oh, here we go. Back out to the same. Jesus, it's like a maze under there. I got lost. Right, here we go. We're back outside on the walls. Right, so what's this then? This is the food court area then, I suppose. This is like the food lodge. Nice high ceilings. Like it. Like it. Nice bones. Quite a bit of storage. A lot of food. A lot of skulls. Someone's got a bit of a skull fetish going on down here. Mind you, don't blame them. They do look pretty good. A load of armor. Right, where are we going? Are we going upstairs? I need to utilize these kind of rope bridges a bit more. I don't use them. I don't know why. I just don't use them. I should start adding them more to the base. So that's the other area over there. We've got the bridge that goes across. Let's have a look, see what's in here. Look at this. It's literally just loads of rope bridges. Ah, oh, what a clever use. I need to start experimenting with them more. I never do. I don't know why. Okay, so we are upstairs of what looks like probably on top of the food area. We've got armor. Looks like a showing off area, so we've got more armor stands. Out into like the balcony. I love the fenced area. That looks good. Looks really nice. The easier way of separating it all instead of putting logs around and stuff, you know. Again, that takes you out here. Look at that. I don't know. It's just I like the rope bridges. So it's just great. I like the roof as well. That's nice. That's nice too. I'm not going to go down now. I'll probably get stuck. Okay, so I think I've got everything that's on that side. It's time to go do the big bit down here. Look at the size of it. Walking down there alone. That's a, that's a pretty epic view, isn't it? I love... I just can't get over the walls. I really love the idea of the walls. Stone on the outside, wood on the inside, wood across the top and the spikes. It just makes it look so much nicer. It gives it that kind of break between the stone. I find the stone pattern's quite repetitive. It goes on and on and on. That breaks it up quite nicely. Right, here we go. This has got to be kind of like the main building area. I like the sloped roof as well. That's quite cool. We'll take a run across the wall and we'll see what's going on around here. He's chosen quite a nice place to build as well. The view of the mountain is lovely. I think we're over by the cave now, aren't we? Yeah, bloody hell. His base is literally the lake. <laughs> wow. That is uh, a pretty big base, man. That is a pretty big base. All right. We're around the back of the building now. That looks pretty cool. The way it slopes in. 
Must have. I think he's cut out a chunk. Yeah, he's cut out the chunk in the uh, the floor in there or the ceiling just to get the entrance part. That looks nice. It's quite smooth. Nice little waterfall fall on that side there. Loving the balconies. Balconies look cool. They look nice. We'll have a look at them closer when we get up there. Okay, let's go down. Let's have a little look to what we've got down here. So we've got storage, which obviously is going to be a good place for it. And it looks like we've got a crap ton more storage down here. Those are logs. Nice and tight. Nice and clean and tidy. Nice and tucked away. I like that. Some stone. It's a shame they don't let us have like kind of more freedom with the kind of the stability of the building. You know? Run up literally the side of the building. Yeah, yeah, he cut it out. That looks cool. I like that. I like the way it's kind of slanted down. That would have taken quite a while. Let's go in the back door. We've got another food area. Where does this lead? Back outside. Okay, just testing outdoors. I haven't had a look around it yet. You see, I haven't pre-ran the building. I wanted to see what it was like when I first got in it, you know. Nice high ceilings. like the way it's done. Center columns down the middle. Keeps the floor nice and open and clean. Like that. That is cool. Some more storage, which is nice. That's the entrance we came in. Trying to pay, like pan out or lay out. Pan out? What am I on about? Trying to lay out the flooring area as I go. Oh, we've got like a balcony area up here. A little balcony area with a seat in. That is nice. It's a shame there's no like AI apart from... Obviously, V and Calvin. I meant like AI as in people that would just come around your base and walk around, you know. That would be cool. Little open area there for some water. Makes sense. And we got upstairs. Here we go. I was going to say it's like smaller area, but it's not. All right, what we got? More armor stands. Cool. Showing off that armor. I don't, the tech armor just makes you look like a Christmas tree, doesn't it? Nice little fence above the stairs there. That looks good. I like that. Right, what we got? We've got a door here. Leads you out into a balcony. That is behind the wall. That's the slope part. Yeah, okay. So he's done a massive slope from there all the way down. And then filled it in. Still pretty impressive. I like it. Nice balcony area. Nice row of stones. You know what? I never really thought about putting a row of stones on the balcony area. But I actually kind of like the way that looks. I like the way it's sitting on top of it. I'm going to go out on this one and see what's going on in here. Yeah, look at that. I like the way that looks. That looks really nice with these stones. Normally, I just use wood, but I like that. I might have to start putting some more of that into the base. See? Ideas, guys. Ideas. That's why I like to do these videos. You look around these bases and you're thinking, wow, I never thought about that. Like these walls. I never thought about doing them that way. I like the walls. I love the way this stone looks on top of the balconies, you know? I never thought of doing it like that, but now I probably will add some more of that into the base. This must be another balcony. Yeah. Oh, is, this, is it the same one? Uh, Yes, yeah, the same one. Never mind. It's the same balcony. I'm just running around in circles. Ah, trusty cannibal head. How comes that's not rotten yet? Weird. Okay. Interesting. As soon as I put my ones out, they were like rotting in minutes. I like that. I love the way that looks. Where it's coming to the inside of the building. Kind of little arched roof there. Or peaked roof, if you want to say. But that looks cool. He's obviously, he's got it so it goes into the building. That's why it's on the inside. But that looks, that looks good. Right, let's go upstairs. So, upstairs, what we got? Little private area, probably. Little private quarters. Little little bed. Some grub, medicine, some food. Obviously, some grenades and some cash. That's just what you have when you're <laughs> next to your bed. There's like the odd grenade. You know, some food. Got some food on the go. Now, I like this. This is nice. I like the skull lamps. I'm like, oh. That's weird. My game's not messing up. Normally, I mean, this isn't part of the tour, but... Normally, when there's like these skull lamps and stuff like that, my uh, my game gets really pixelated. Maybe it's just my save because uh, it's not actually happening here. It's absolutely fine. What we got here? This is a huge balcony. This is nice. I like it. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Oh, he's got the shutters on the window. Where's that? That's upstairs, right? 
Moosehead right on the top of the building there. Let's have a little look. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is upstairs. Can I close that? Yeah. I like the shutters. Just wish they fit properly, you know? Gap across the top. Hopefully they'll uh, iron that out. It is a nice addition to the game, but hopefully they'll iron it out. Right, I want to have a look at that zipline system. I want to see where that goes. So this, I think, is the last part of the building. I don't know if there's any more building areas on this island. Uh, I've had a little fly around. I couldn't see any. Uh, so this is the main part from what I could see. But I want to see where this um, zipline system goes and how far it goes. All right. Found my way up the tower. Took a bit of time. I didn't notice the zip line went into the base. All right, let's see where this... I like the way he's put these in place. So they, they've put them in place. Stop you from flying off the frigging things. Nothing worse than building a zip line system than you fly off the edge. But these towers are like perfect for that. I've got a feeling this goes up and over the mountain though. So we'll have a little look. Still going. I'm right. It goes over the... I don't know how he's done this, though, but some of these uh, some of these towers are actually floating. Please don't throw me off. I got thrown off the last one. Yeah, some of them are floating. They're not actually uh, touching the floor. No idea. It's like mid-air tower, which is kind of strange. I think this is probably going to take you over to the other bunkers, I reckon. This must have taken forever to do this. Yeah, I was right. Takes you over the mountain. I'm guessing this will lead you all the way down to the other bunkers. I'm not going to... It's going to fall down there. I'm not going to run it all. I'll be here quite some time. It goes all the way over there. Quite a distance, though, from the base. It's like the base is all the way down there, and this is, like, quite some distance away. You must hit all the key points around the map so you can get there. So, yeah, I'm going to leave this one here. That was Drazik's base. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed it. Uh, you can get some ideas from that base. I know I've definitely got a couple of ideas from it. It's quite a massive uh, footprint on the map there. It's quite a big area on that lake. Must have taken quite some time to build. So, yeah, thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more, subscribe. Also, I'm going to continue doing the community base tour videos. If you've got a base you want me to see, feel free to head over to the Discord and uh, drop me a DM, and uh, I'll have a little look around and see what, I, see what it's like. So thanks for coming again, guys. Catch you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.